What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Steph, also known as the Freckled One. As you can tell by the title, you already know what this is going to be about, but this morning, in less than an hour, I'm going to be getting a lip flip. For those of you who don't know what a lip flip is, it is a very simple um, cosmetic procedure where Botox is used to kind of numb the muscles and kind of paralyze the muscles or freeze them um, around your lip. Essentially it's to get rid of my gummy smile. I have been blessed enough to have never had braces and I still have fairly straight teeth and I would love to smile more with my teeth showing. I've just over the years become a little self-conscious about how little my teeth are. Um, maybe you don't think so. Yeah, I just kind of want less gums. <laughs> so I just want to start with two disclaimers. The first is I am in no way, shape, or form encouraging anybody to get this done if that's not something that you feel you need in your life or you want in your life, especially if you are underage. I think at this point in my life, at age 30, I feel ready to make yet another decision for myself that involves kind of enhancing my own body image and body positivity and my own, I guess, truly just happiness. Do I think this is going to make me love myself? Absolutely not. I've been working on that for 30 years at this point, and it's something that I'm going to do for the rest of my life. Do I think um, I would be devastated if I didn't have this done? Absolutely not. I have been able to live without a lip flip for my entire life. I have not had any injectables done on my face. The most I've had done is literally getting a cavity filled and also getting laser hair removal and like my brows laminated. But other than that, I haven't had anything done. I'm just ready and I'm privileged enough to have the means to do that at this point. My second disclaimer is if you are somebody who is extremely against this, welcome. That is super welcomed on this channel and completely fine. All I ask is that you, if you, you know, decide to leave a comment or maybe a thumbs down to do so with compassion and kindness and understanding. You know, I think we all have our varying degrees of comfortability when it comes to body modification, whether it's getting your teeth whitened, putting mascara on, um, wearing a tinted lip balm, getting a haircut, anything like that, all the way to maybe the other side of the spectrum, spectrum where, you know, you have a rhinoplasty, you have gotten lip filler, you have went from a 32 AA to a 32 double D, whatever it is, I'm a firm believer and I always will be that you should have agency over what you do with your own body. And that's something that I'm not ever going to budge on. So if you want to try and convince me otherwise in the comments, I'm letting you know now it's just not going to happen and it's never going to happen. With that being said, I'm just really excited. I really just want a little bit of a lift and to be able to smile and not have my gum show. Truly, I'm not nervous. I'm actually totally fine with needles, and I know that this is fairly non-invasive. Just know that filler for me would be, it would just be too much. I also am not looking for volume necessarily at this point, maybe in the future. The appealing thing to me about lip flips versus lip filler is that a it doesn't last as long though you know if I like it I'm, I'm sure that I'll wish that it did but also you know different bodies process um, filler or hyaluronic acid differently and at different rates and that seems a little bit scarier to me knowing that you know 
some of it might dissolve, but some might be left over and then topping it off um, later on when I get them redone. That all just seems like a little bit more of a process that I'm not ready for right now or wanting at all. The procedure today for a lip flip is going to be $150 and, you know, fillers can run you up several hundred dollars. Um, and, you know, you get them done every year, every half year, whatever. And that's not within my means right now. So I'm currently at The Row in downtown LA. I'm going to The Things We Do. I will link their Instagram account um, above. I am seeing Janet, who I've never met before, but I did ask her for her specifically because I've seen the work that she's done. I like it. It seems like she is very experienced, especially with doing lips. And so that's who I chose. I did do research on who I wanted to see, where I wanted to go. I have gotten the green light to kind of vlog this experience. If you're someone that's thinking of doing that and vlogging it as well, I highly recommend that you call and ask that you are allowed to do so before. It's, you know, common courtesy and you don't want to be disappointed if you do want to vlog it and then you're told that you um, are not permitted to do so. This intro is a little bit all over the place because my appointment was actually for next Thursday and I got a call yesterday that somebody canceled and so here I am. So here are what my lips are looking like now. And I genuinely love my lips. I love the shape of them. I think it suits my face. And I'm just excited to give myself a little extra pep in my step. Mom, Dad, if you're watching this, I'm sure you will tell me, you don't need to do that. I know I don't. I know I don't need this. This is something that I want. And I hope that you support me. And by the time this goes up, you will probably have already seen me and you won't even have noticed. So there's that. So without further ado, let's go in. Ryan Little. <laughs> Yoga! sit in my car and film after my lip flip but these are what my lips are looking like literally not different not yet um, you can see that I do have a injection mark right there that bled a little bit but you can't even see it on this side so what I'm gonna do is kind of do a progression video each, maybe every, I don't know, two days or something to show you the differences um, as we go along. She did say that it will take anywhere from two to two days to two weeks to start seeing anything and I'll see you in the next one. All right, I just wanted to do a quick check-in. It is now day three after my lip flip and granted I'm wearing makeup right now obviously but let me see if I can get better lighting um my lips are over lined but there is definitely a difference in my lips when I try and you know 
if I put chapstick on and I try and like smear it around using this motion, do you see that I cannot tuck my cupid's bow under to kind of emulsify like a lip gloss or a chapstick? I've found that drinking water has become a little bit, um, I wouldn't say challenging, but I am a little bit more aware that it might kind of spew out of my mouth. Other than that, it it's totally fine. I can already see a difference. You can see that I don't have gums when I smile. And it's so cool and I'm so happy. Really does not add any volume, which I, you know, I wasn't expecting it to, but I, I mean, with this alone, I'm super happy with that. I still can, with a lot of effort, it's exhausting. It's like doing a workout. I still can show you my gums if I want to, but whereas it was before the lip flip, it was an effort to not show my gums when I smile, and now it's an effort to show my gums when I smile. So I am really liking this so far. Again, this is only day three, so I'm surprised that it's already taken effect. I haven't had any trouble like speaking, which I know that some folks experience. That's day three. I will check in with you in a few more days. Okay, so it has officially been one week since I had my lip flip done, and in the last like couple of days, I've noticed a, I mean, this is just noticeable to me because I see my face every single day, but I've noticed a very big change that's happened. The like tip or end of my nose to the cupid's bow has definitely shortened. And as you can maybe see from the profile, that is, uh, it's flipped. It's lifted a little bit. And it makes, from the front, it makes it look a little bit more voluminous. Those weird kind of funny effects that I was experiencing with like drinking water or with a chapstick or even, you know, whistling, which I still can't do right now. <sighs> It's funny how that, that that's changed, um, but I don't really notice those differences anymore only because it's either that I've gotten used to it or that like numb sensation has dissipated. From the profile, you can see that that is definitely lifted. My cupid's bow is a little bit more prominent and swooping upward and it just gives a little bit more volume. It doesn't actually give me more volume, but it's the trick of the eye that makes it look just, oh, I just don't even know what to do. I have such beautiful lips. I have a feeling that I've reached, I've already reached like the peak of what this is going to do, which I'm totally fine with. And I will give you an update and my final thoughts in the next check-in. All right, it has officially been two weeks since the lip flip, and here are the final results. You can see that with a white background, there's like a an upturn of my lip, it swoops. I have a swoop now. And when I smile, oh, it makes me so happy. I have to really work hard to get my gums up. I don't have gummy gums. So I'm really happy about that. Overall, just to wrap up this video, I, I had a really great experience. I am so thankful that I got to see Janet, who is again at the things we do at The Row downtown LA. And everything was just, it was a fantastic experience. The staff there, it w was so friendly and I have truly nothing bad to say about any of that. As for the results, I am obsessed with it. I will probably have this redone at least one more time to really make the decision on if this is something that I'm gonna try and keep up or not. My only qualms and I don't have my lips lined or anything. I really just have um, chapstick on. I think it was Carmex. My only qualms with it 
is that it only lasts two to three months. And so to have to spend that amount of money every two to three months, it is, you know, that's a little pricey. Do I think I'm gonna get Botox uh, in the future? Absolutely. I actually got a quote for my forehead, which maybe I'll end up doing a video about it if I ever have that done. But overall, really stoked on these results. I don't know how many units that she used, but once I do find that out, I will put that in the description below. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I will try and get to all of them. Let's be real, I'll get to all of them because I have so few followers and so few comments. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video and that it was informative and you know, unlike a lot of other lip flip videos on YouTube, I didn't get any filler. And so this is just what the top lip looks like when I had Botox injected. Me, me, me. Anyway, that is it for this video. If you liked this and found it helpful in any way, please hit that like button. It helps out a lot. Until next time, take care, be safe, and be kind. Bye.